So we're back at the garden. Uh, well, just me. Alex is cleaning out the sprayer. And I'm gonna pick some bouquets for the weekend. Um, I forgot my recipe. I made a bunch of recipes. Recipes. Um, on post-it notes and then I left them at home. So now I've just, I'm just gonna use the same one that I used last week. Um, which is fine. I did want to switch it up a little bit, but this will do. I might switch in a, a lupine. And the roses are coming in pretty nice too. Actually, well, they're not long, which is annoying. But maybe if I got like a, a little short vase, like mini roses. But, um, but I'm gonna get going so I can get this done. I think I'm gonna make five bouquets, maybe six, do four wrapped and two invasives. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so I got my bucket of uh, my filler stuff. This is, my, this is all the filler. Got my basil, my centauri, my adgeratum, my tritiaria status. Boom. Now I need 36 zinnias and 12 snapdragons, I think. I'll have to double check, but it's quite the bit. And I've been using this. It's like a um, a vegetable like pruner knife. It's actually been working out pretty well. Um, I can just zip right through and pick these, but with the zinnias I might use, and the snapdragons I might use the actual pruners because last time I was using it, sometimes the whole plant was like coming out of the ground and I don't like that. So we're gonna go back to pruners and get this done really quick. So making the bouquets now and just kind of going through, making sure I got my, my recipe down. I don't exactly memorize it. Um, but just kind of toss them in a pile for now. And actually, so the, this is the, the fever few. It's so cute. I love it. It's not part of the recipe, but I didn't want this stuff to go bad. Cause these are like, I have two stems of it that just started coming up. So I don't want to waste it. Cause it's really, it's, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely will be growing again next year. Um, it didn't like come out super good this year. I don't know what was wrong with it when we like started it in the trays. It just looked sad all the time. So we're gonna, I don't know, figure something out to make sure it is good. Cause it's, it's really cute. I really, I really like it. And definitely the basil. We'll probably do less of it maybe next year, uh, depending on how it goes. I want to try to like dry it and then sell it in little like bags or something. But I don't know what the best way to go about that would be. And then I need two snapdragons. Bop. And bop. And um, I, I, <laughs> I just kind of have them in like a little pile. So it's kind of, I'm just going to shove them all. Uh, do it upside down so that they stay. Snapdragon kind of up. Oh, <laughs> right. <sighs> I don't usually do this upside down, but the basil, I don't know why. It just gets so droopy. Like right after you cut it, even if it goes in water, it just is like, no thanks. I'm gonna do what I want. So. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna get these done and then go home for some lunch. Sounds good.
the bouquets. They look really nice. They're very, they look very full. Um, so now something else that we want to start doing is custom arrangements. I gotta grab a stapler. So I want to do like custom arrangements. Like we'll have kind of a form that you can fill out on our website, as well as you can, you know, DM us on Instagram. And I'm gonna make like a little pamphlet kind of thing. And just, I don't know, to move more flowers. And that's what people like to, it's kind of like when you go to the florist, people like to have a say in what their bouquet looks like. And I, making bouquets honestly is fun for me. So I'd like to, it's something I'd like to do. We have a lot of flowers that, you know, we gotta get moving. <laughs> so this is another way for us to be able to move more flowers, I guess. So I'm just wrapping these up and then I'm gonna head home for some lunch. But yeah, I think these turned out pretty good and we still got this fresh lavender bouquet out here. I gotta cut this, give it, give it a fresh cut and ah. Woo! <laughs> Getting attacked by something, I don't know. But yeah, the fresh lavender hasn't been doing too good. Like, I don't know, we sell, we sell more of the like, the sachets than we do the fresh or the dry, ah, I meant to get, I need to grab some new like dried um, bundles of the lavender <laughs> to put out here just because um, those ones, they got a little sun bleach so they don't look as nice anymore. It's like, hey, it doesn't look nice, but it still smells good. And it's, it's, it's the same thing, it just doesn't look as pretty, but with that, you want them to look pretty. So, yeah. And so this pro we've gotten so much more efficient with how we do things, like garden-wise, too, this year, which is so nice. I'm gonna put the lavender in the front of this bucket. So people have to look at it. And then I've got three bouquets in vases. What is this one? Gotta make sure it's all the way in the water. And then actually my my vase swap box that we had that big storm and you know I made sure I pushed everything back towards the you know so it wouldn't blow away and it's it's gone. I don't know where it is. Um but I guess that's I don't know. It's it's cardboard. It'll it'll break down eventually, right? Right? <laughs> it's fine. But now I'm all set. Um, a little wet now, I guess. And now I get to head home for some lunch. I've got what, four, seven bouquets out. Uh, hopefully they'll sell over the weekend. I guess it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Sunday, but should be all right. And yeah, going to get lunch.